What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I want to talk about what I think the number one reason is why you're not losing weight or getting results. And I totally get it if you're like, I've tried all of these diets, I've tried all these workout plans, nothing seems to be working for me. I feel like I'm doing everything right, but like, why am I not seeing the results? I've been there, I get it, it's frustrating, um, but let's go into why I think you're not seeing results. So before we go into the number one reason why you're not getting results, let's, ma let's make sure you are doing everything else properly um, to make sure, you know, maybe there's something you're not missing or whatnot. So reasons why you are not getting results is one, your nutrition is not in check. Maybe the quality of the foods you're eating are bad. You're not tracking your macros to see like how much you're eating and are you overeating, under eating, and all of that plays a role. And if your nutrition is not in check, that is a big component, you know, about 80% of results come from the nutrition aspect. So ask yourself, is your nutrition in check? One, have you or are you tracking your macros? If you're not, that is a really big mistake that you're doing. How are you supposed to know how much you're actually eating and how much your body requires to get you to your goal? You know, people have budget sheets. They figure out how much income they are having. They're tracking all of their expenses and seeing where they are. You know, you're tracking your budget so you can be successful, you can save money, and you know kind of where your money is going in and out, that's the same thing with tracking macros. So why aren't you doing that? If you don't know how much energy you're burning, how much calorie you're consuming, no wonder you're not getting results because you're just maybe overestimating or underestimating the food you're consuming. And it's really important to track your macros, one, to make sure you're fueling your body properly and what your body requires for your goal. Um, but two, it just ensures that you are actually following a clear blueprint plan for get to get you from where you're at to where you wanna be. Right? You can't just be having a diet that's filled with carbs and fats. You want to make sure you know you're having protein and tracking macros will ensure you're eating enough of those three macronutrients. But two, when it comes to your nutrition and check is, you know, are you eating good quality foods and proper nutrition? About 80% of the time, you want your foods to come from whole nutritious sources, vegetables, fruits, meats, and you want to make sure those sources are good quality. They're not filled with these pesticides or antibiotics that maybe your body is not reacting well. So maybe you are tracking macros, but maybe the quality of your food isn't there. And just know that like you are what you eat, but really you are what you eat, actually eat. So whatever your chicken or cow is eating, that's going into your body. And so you really want to make sure, you know, you're the food you're eating is good quality and you want to stay with those whole nutritious foods versus those processed packaged foods that have all these you know fake ingredients additives where they may be affecting your body too you might be feeling bloated they might be fluctuating your hormones so it's really important to make sure that you are eating whole nutritious foods of course 80 20 80 percent of the time that's what you want 20 percent of the time is where you can fit in you know that ice cream and those fun foods but if you're not tracking your cal or your macros and you're not tracking or you're, no but if you're not tracking your macros and you're not having good quality food that's a big step that you need to check and be like okay i need to get my nutrition in check because if you don't know how much you're eating if you might be eating 2,000 calories you might be eating 900 you need to know where you're at and you also need to learn what your body requires and that is a huge component when it comes to seeing results another thing that you may or may not be doing that may be inhibiting your results is not working out properly you need to make sure you're following a plan you're progressing at the gym every single day and if you're weight lifting weights you need to make sure you know you are not just swinging the weights and lifting it like you need to make sure you're activating it and properly working out or not just doing fully cardio a lot of people you know they they're just following all these instagram workouts and they're not sticking to a plan to help them get to their goals and they're not working out properly by activating and engaging their muscles and this is a huge this is a big component of not seeing the results of your physique. You know, maybe you're trying to tone up, maybe not. You need to make sure you're working out properly and effectively and not, and also not assuming you're burning a thousand to 2000 calories during a workout and then actually only burning three to 400 calories. And in your head, you're like, I worked out today. So a workout equals a thousand calories. So I'm just going to eat because I know I burned a lot. No, no, no. That's a big mistake. I've seen people do. They overestimate the calories they burn and they underestimate the calories they eat. So before we get into this one component that I think is the reason why you're not losing weight, you need to also make sure your nutrition is in check. You know, make sure you're tracking what you're eating. It doesn't mean forever, but make sure you're tracking good quality foods and make sure you're working out properly. All right, so now if you're like Tati, I get it. 
um, my nutrition's in check, I'm tracking, I'm eating good foods, I'm working out properly, I'm following a plan. Why am I still not seeing results? Why am I not losing weight? Let's talk about what I think is a big reason, the number one reason why you're not seeing the results in losing weight. And that is your mindset. I know you're gonna be like, what? What do you mean my mindset? Your mindset, yeah, it is huge. So let's break it down. Let me explain what I mean. Cause I've, it's happened to me, it's happened to my clients and it might be happening to you on a level where you're not even aware of. So think about it. You might right now might be having limiting beliefs. Maybe you don't believe that you're capable of losing the weight. Maybe you believe that losing weight is hard. And if you believe that, of course, then losing weight is going to be hard for you. Maybe you, you know, were called fat when you were seven, you maybe don't remember, and deep down in your subconscious mind, you just believe you're fat. So like, it's inevitable, like you equal fat. So like, how can you ever lose the weight if you truly believe that you're just meant to be fat? Or maybe you think it's genetics, right? Maybe you have a lot of self-doubt and you don't feel worthy or capable of a transformation. And these things I'm saying, you might not, you might think, no, that's not me, but that's what a lot of my clients said as well until we dug deeper and we started asking questions. And you need to realize your subconscious beliefs, those limiting beliefs that in your mind, you don't actually think about and maybe are aware of or acknowledge them. It's you have to dig deeper. Um, they, there might be circumstances or thoughts or beliefs that you've had maybe even since you were a child are just ingrained in your brain and like you're just embodying who it is and it's literally like a habit it's who you are um so it's really important that you know you take time and you think about like what do i think about myself am i capable do you think you deserve this transformation do, do you think it's going to be easy or hard all these thoughts that you have on a subconscious level will affect your ability to receive the results that you're longing for and you're putting the effort in right and another thing and another thing is is like where is your mindset are you thinking positively are you you know being a good cheerleader are you feeling abundant and connecting deeper with yourself and giving yourself the self-love inside during this journey trusting the process loving the journey or are you thinking negatively are you constantly like oh i'm not where i want to be i haven't lost a pound yet keep beating yourself up are you thinking like it's never gonna happen for me you gotta like think how are you thinking think about how are you thinking and if you're constantly thinking about your past and who you currently are or who you were and like you need to realize you are not defined by your past that's not you you need to start thinking about the person you're becoming and as the person you're becoming going to you know beat themselves up say the little things because as humans we beat ourselves up and we're our hardest critics but we need to find the love for ourselves and go dig deeper into it because i promise you when you lose the 10 pounds, if you do not do the self inner work, you will not be happy. So you need to make sure your mindset's in the game. Do you believe you're worthy of it? Because you are, you deserve that transformation. You deserve to feel good in your skin. You deserve to have the energy. You deserve to be the girl role model to your mom. And if you don't believe it in your heart, you're not going to truly actually get those results. You need to believe in yourself 100%. You need to think positively. Yeah, you might not be where you wanna be, but that doesn't mean you should be beating yourself up or thinking negatively. You should be kind and love yourself and be like I'm waking up every single day to improve myself and give yourself props and love and when you start finding that inner happiness in love and giving yourself that kindness within that's when the results will come if you keep beating yourself up because you're not a certain number on the scale you can't fit into your genes and you keep going into that negative loophole cycle you're not gonna get out and you're not gonna be open to receiving those the results that you're wanting so the biggest thing that's holding you back is your mindset you need to figure out what limiting beliefs or self-doubts or subconscious thoughts of yourself are lingering from maybe past i say traumas but like past circumstances maybe this like the seven-year-old bully just calls you fat or like you're not good enough and that just always stuck in your mind on a subconscious level you need to dig deep and you need to uncover those so you can let them go detach from the person you used to be and the thoughts and the feelings you thought about yourself and step into the person you're becoming and you need to think positively you need to be kind and find the inner love and happiness within so when you do lose the 10 pounds you're already happy within that it's kind of like 
awesome. That was just a bonus, right? Um, and you need to be encouraging and you need to believe it in your heart that you're going to get these results and that you are worthy of it. And you just need to learn how to shift your mindset to a more positive way, okay? Stop beating yourself up because you're not there. This isn't meant to be a quick fix. If you're looking for a quick fix, you're on the wrong channel. I don't believe in quick fixes. Um, it's a lifestyle and you need to take it one step at a time, one habit at a time. And the biggest thing that happened for me and my clients was shifting our mindset, uncovering those beliefs. I used to think like I, it was just in my genetics that I was always going to be fat, always going to be like big boned and that like I was not good enough to have that transformation. And I didn't fully lose the weight and feel good in my skin and feel confident until I looked inward and found the self-worth and self-love that I had never had before in my life. And that's finally when I started getting that, that's when I started getting results and I felt more confident and I built a healthy relationship with myself, with food and with everyone around me. And it all really started with shifting my mindset, shifting the beliefs and the perspective about myself and looking inward and that way the results from the outward kind of came through. Um, same with my clients, a lot of old traumas like I'll give one example, a client never got acknowledged or appreciated for everything she did in life growing up and for some reason that attributed to like her a like lack of self-worth that she wasn't worthy of that appreciation or that acknowledgement and it kind of bled into her not feeling worthy of her having a health journey and a successful weight loss transformation and we uncovered that, we addressed it, she let it go and she stepped into the woman she was becoming now and she who is worthy of it, who deserves it, and you do too. So I really hope this video helped. Um, remember, you need to make sure your nutrition's in check. Track your macros like you're tracking your budget. Get good quality foods. Make sure you're working out effectively, properly, not overdoing the cardio, doing it in a way that you enjoy. But the number one thing you need to make sure you're focusing on is your mindset. Is your head in the game? Do you believe you're worthy of it? Are you associating with yourself, with your past, who you were, your old beliefs, negative? If you are, uncover them, slowly learn to let it go and shift that positive mindset into a more positive, loving, nurturing, like believe in yourself. Be your biggest cheerleader and know in your heart it will happen and you're going to get there. And I'm here if you need anything. If you have any questions, comment below. I will put my email if you have any personal questions. Um, and just know that if you think you need help on help with this journey, self-love journey, health journey, anything, life transformation journey, I am here to help you. I'll put the application in my coaching down below that will allow you to really step into your true power, feel good in your skin, make sure your mind, body, and soul are in a healthy alignment because when we bring those together, that's when you are going to be living your best life. Um, so I will put the application box below, but Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me here at Tatiana underscore Kuto, my Instagram. I have a lot more content with this, um, with these topics, um, but I really, really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope this helped. I hope it sparked some thoughts. Maybe you're gonna go journal right now. Take some time to think and reflect. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.